All right, guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Roberto from Roberto and Magdalena, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about musicality. If you're interested in these subjects, make sure to subscribe to our channel because I'm going to be doing more videos about it. Okay guys, so let's start. The first thing that we need to do is define what musicality is. For me as a dancer, musicality would be that you can see the music in my dance moves. It can go from as simple as dancing to the beat of the music to doing specific movements or patterns that match an instrument or a specific break in the music. Something that I find very important is that musicality is subjective. It is different to all of us. In any specific song, there's almost always many different instruments playing at the same time. So it is possible that whichever instrument I am hearing is not the same that as the instrument that somebody else is hearing. So in this case, it can be possible that we are both being musical while dancing to different instruments and therefore doing different dance moves. A lot of people tell you that in order to be musical, you need to feel the music. And while this might be true, for some people, they might not even know what that means. They might end up being more confused because what does it even mean to feel the music? So how can I explain what it means to feel the music? At least from my point of view, feeling the music means recognizing when the music has a high energy or a low energy and also if the music is positive or negative. For example, if the music is high energy, I would try to be musical by dancing with more energy. And when the music is low energy, I would adapt to it by doing maybe smaller movements and dancing slower. Another example to be musical would be that it is possible to recognize when the music is going high, 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 and then boom, there's going to be a drop. And in that case, you can prepare for it as well in your dance. For example, you could start going as well with your movement high, high, high energy and more energized and boom, out of nowhere, just stop completely whenever there's a break or something. Another example is when the music is doing very isolated beats like tack, 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 tack. In that case, we could do the same with our bodies by doing isolated movements. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry. Just subscribe to our channel, we're going to be posting a lot more videos about this subject and we're also going to be posting a lot of bachata tutorials. Something that I think is really important is to not try to force to be more musical. The first thing and the most important thing that you need to do is learn proper technique. This means you need to first be able to dance on the beat of the music and you need to learn how to lead and follow if you are a leader or a follower. Once you have done that, then you can start thinking about being musical, but it's something that comes afterwards and it should not be your main focus if you are just learning how to dance. If you are a beginner at dancing and you still don't know how to properly lead or follow, that is the first thing that you need to learn before focusing on musicality. And of course, don't get me wrong, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I'm guessing that if you are in this video, it's because you want to improve at dancing and you want to take it more seriously, maybe. So in this case, it is very important to first learn proper technique and first learn how to dance to the beat of the music and then with time, you can focus on being more musical without forcing. Now let's talk about bachata. In bachata, we as dancers, we count till eight. We start on one and we finish on eight. That means that whenever we start, we always start our movements on the first beat of the music. And then we do one, two, three, and on four, we do a tap or a pause. And then we go back and five, six, seven and on eight we do another break another pause by tapping and then we start all over again and something to keep in mind whenever we are dancing is that the fourth or the eighth beat are the ones that show a change they either show a pause or they show a change and this means that for example a change in the energy of the music Maybe at the beginning on the intro, we start with a low energy, with slow movement. And then after one of the eights or one of the fours, the music is going to start with a higher energy. In the following video, I'm going to talk more about the instruments and the music in bachata. But just as an introduction, we can say that the main instruments in bachata are the guitar, the bass, the guira, and the bongo. And this is a little bit more in the traditional direction. Because nowadays in bachata sensual, a lot of the music are 
are remixes from very popular music, like pop music, and in this case there are a lot more digital sounds that come in play. Alright guys, I hope you found this video helpful and if you're having problems with the musicality in bachata, maybe you could start by listening to some music and trying to recognize the moments where the music is high energy and when the music is low energy. And you could start to, with your body and with your movements, try to be more or less energized when dancing. But of course, this is after you know the correct leading technique and after you can dance to the beat of the music. I hope to see you in the next video and let me know what you think about the video and what you would like to see next. If you have any ideas or if you would like me to analyze the musicality in a bachata song or something, just write in the comments and I'll do my best.